What's up, guys? It has been a while, I feel like, since I've gotten some kind of package. And I guess you've seen on the thumbnail. It's kind of a hard one to mistake. Uh, this is the, the Robo thing. Robo little KF mini guy. From uh, the second... Okay, that's not how you open this box. I think I gotta flip it because the address is on the opposite side here. One second. Yeah, I gotta cut down here. So yeah, I was able to get in on the second drop that Keith did as in Fat Man Workshop on fundraiser.com this is like the it's some kind of extra little edition okay there's still some more cutting I can actually do here so what if I just do it like this I think this is stuck with adhesive so maybe that's why ah Okay. Yeah, so I got in on these. I almost caved and bought some that appeared on the secondary market, but there just kept being talk of another drop. The hype was pretty big around these, and I mean, they're super cool. This will be my first time actually handling one. Adam Sherry, he has one, and I saw it briefly in person uh, a couple weeks ago and let's get the let me get my tray down here make some room i got some other things on the tray let's dump out all these accessories i don't even they've sent us some updates on what all this stuff would be this looks like a little sticker panel probably should look up some of this stuff <laughs> but we've got some different little weapons they're kind of little nifty doodad thingies that I'm not sure they match the total aesthetic, but they're kind of cool, you know. Guitars are neat, not really my kind of thing. Looks like these are necklace charms. <laughs> See like the little little loops in the neck. <laughs> oh, this too. Maybe all these are some kind of necklace charm. They have to be, right? Why else would they have all these little little loops? Oh, I love it. It's so cute <laughs> okay let's keep digging into these accessories looks like we got a tiny little phillips head driver and then we got um i do remember one of the updates said some extra screws and nuts or something okay this one is a tin with foam in it this one is a tin with foam in it okay not, am I missing anything? Aha! I am. Here are the extra screws and nuts. They were stuck to the adhesive of the little little baggy guy. <laughs> That's funny. I'm glad I saw that and remembered that these were a thing. It's like that happened on purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna look all these over again. I reuse all of these kinds of little bags. Okay, there are no more pieces left. So we've got these little things. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this right now because I don't, I don't even know what to do with those. The swords are pretty cool. I'll leave those out, and these don't, these don't fit in any of the things. That's okay. All right, we're gonna put these up top here. Get these little tins out of the way. Let's look at the robot, right? So I think this is magnetic. It is. So yeah, this isn't really a fidget. I think I lost my train of thought there. But I think it is kind of in the realm of fidgets, right? Oh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Extra pieces of some sort? That's cool. All right, let's just get the little guy out of here. The case is definitely nifty. I like the little bits of brass hardware. You know, it's just like an acrylic display case. I don't know if it's brass hardware or just like gold plated. What's this little thing again? Is this a tool? Hang on. I see like a... Oh, sorry. Out of focus there. It's got a really small cap head screw. So that tells me something's threaded here. Okay. So we just have two... Okay, these must be spare parts of some sort. I mean, definitely looks like one of the ball hinges, right? Like that looks like a hip ball. Definitely a hip ball. And this screw 
looks like. Well, none of the screws that I see here. What are these ones? Those are all little Phillips heads. Okay. So I'm not sure. That'll be interesting. Maybe I'll have to go back and read that. I'll quit fiddling with all the little bits and bobs now. Let's um, put this this way. Did I do that wrong? Is this even magnetic? It feels like it is. Yeah, it definitely is. Does it fit better one way than the other? Not really. Oh, the wings are magnetic. Oh, that's cool. I think one of these boxes is for the wings when you're not using them. Let's see. Oh, that wouldn't be right. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neat. So these are, these articulate. Kind of whichever way. Man, okay, so this thing, he was saying like, he doesn't want to make a lot more runs of these because they're so tedious to make. I mean, okay, on these wings, there's one, two, three, five layers on each wing. There are two screws and two nuts. So that's 10, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. There's 33 pieces here, if I'm counting correctly. Just in the wings alone, right? Like, whoever's doing the production for these things, I don't care who you are, you have to do this by hand, and you have to do it, you know, to some degree of precision and repeatability and get all everything lined up and not strip the little screws and you know what I mean? Like, that's really cool. This one, really, they both move pretty good, but I feel like this wing doesn't pivot as good as this wing. This little guy, as I get more familiar with him, I feel like I'm just gonna see, I'm not gonna try this. Yeah, that fits that, that fits that. Okay, so it is all the same hardware, I think. Um, I'm not gonna fiddle with them too much here at first. Yeah, okay, all the same hardware here on the wings. Very cool. Um, I just want, I think that it'll be a really, wow, train of thoughts, terrible. Some of the joints, if they're stiff, I think knife pivot lube could be beneficial. Magnets are definitely, um, so I guess there's, are the magnets inside the robot or are they in the wings? I'm actually quite curious now. Is that just magnetic itself? Okay, so there's a magnet in the wings too, just to throw that out there. Cause there's no, oh, there's magnets in both, okay. Golly, there's a lot of parts and pieces. Okay, let's take the wings off. I've been kind of saving, saving the best for last kind of thing here. How did I do this earlier? And it just seemed like they were gonna fit just fine. Oh, I guess if I tilt them up, that makes sense. Wings are safe. Left my knife open, guys. <laughs> So the little robot. We've got little gold plated balls and a chest piece, I think, and this little, I don't know, second launch. I forget what it's called. I keep wanting to say Founder's Edition or something, but it, I don't feel like it's a Founder's Edition. It's like a Legacy or it had some name that, you know, kind of fancy. So many little pieces and bits of articulation. I'm pretty sure we have, we have magnets in the feet. So, I mean, gripping pretty good. Oh, it grips really good on the plate. That's cool. I'm going to have to find a surface for this little disc. I'm assuming that's what this is. If I take this blue bit off, 
Maybe it's an adhesive, maybe it's not, and I'll just get some double stick tape, but I feel like this would be cool to stick somewhere, like possibly in the car, or I don't know, by like my gaming station, I don't know, something like that. That could be pretty cool. So the little hands here, you can see they pivot. Lost my train of thought again. So I didn't ever pay those secondary prices. <laughs> and held out, and I'm really glad I did. Got this one through fundraiser, went through the checkout process ridiculously fast. Ah, we have articulation of the torso. And it pivots all the way around, I like that. Um, yeah, went through the checkout process really fast, realized they charge fundraiser, the website charges like some top-up charge. Super, like not cool, they threw it in last second, through a hurry drop kind of limited thing. So of course, like a lot of people didn't see it and ended up paying that. I think it was like 20%, like basically a tip to the website for hosting the drop. Um, and I wasn't particularly happy about that. So I, me <laughs> I messaged fundraiser and they're like, okay, yeah, cool. We will refund to that. And when they refunded it, it canceled my whole order. So I messaged Keith and I was like, hey man, um, I think they misunderstood. I definitely still want one of these. I just didn't want to pay the top up charge. And he was great about it and kept in communication with me directly through email. And I mean, he was, yeah, I, I got one now, right? Like I was able to get it for just the retail price, not pay the little top up charge, which I mean, it just sucks, you know? And now I, and I, got, I got my little robot. I like the little grips for the, like how the hands clasp is really cool. Let's do a little double sword action here. It is just so, it has so much articulation for just a little, such a little thing, you know? Is that as narrow as this one goes? There we go. Got them locked in. So I feel like that's whenever this could come in handy. I feel like this thing just doesn't want to get quite tight enough. So let's see if I can hit these with a little bit of extra torque. <laughs> and it's turning the... Let's see if this is a nut driver. I just missed it. Nope. What about this side? It's not this side, is it? I don't think so. Nah. Not even close. I don't think this side either. Nope. So I need to use like a tiny, tiny little socket or some plastic pliers to fiddle with some of the joints. The ones with, well, I guess all of them have nuts. You know, because I would like, I would definitely like this one to have a little bit more ripping strength. There we go. That might have been too much, but I think mission accomplished. Yeah, cool. I don't need this little plate on here anymore. Something I do want to do with fidgets that I, probably the first First time I saw one of these little things. Let's tighten this one up too. Someone was holding, or had a slider, and they were pinching it. Or not pinching it, but they had the little guy. I'll do it in a minute. I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't seen it before. <laughs> So yeah, see, I just tightened the hands up there and now it definitely, I mean, he's got more grip. A little more holding force, a little more clamping force. We'll see, it's loosening up a little bit though. Fiddly little things. I mean, I'm, act I'm trying to expect it to be locked in. The little sword and stuffs is not all that precise. This joint moves very easily. 
So we're gonna come in here. That is these shoulder screws right here. Give them a little twist. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Knowing me, I might end up going through this whole thing with Loctite. The tiniest little bits of the lightest Loctite you can get. And just stiffen her up a little bit, you know? Because I think it'll it'll benefit a lot from that. Okay, on to on to wrapped wrapped fidget things. We're gonna we're gonna recreate this. So this little guy is gonna stand on this magnet and this magnet. Spread it out. Make it look like he's got a little bit more load on his knees and ankles. Like a horse stance kind of thing here. Yep. Get a little forward pivot. A little head pivot action. <laughs> uh, this is like awesome, but also, you know, maybe a little more fiddly than you might first think. Because there are, it's so little, and there are so many small moving pieces so it's a little bit hard to accurately manipulate so let's see we're gonna turn it like this gotta turn the hands can you turn just the hands I can you kind of see that I'm trying to get the plates level. Don't know if it'll hold. It's not going to hold, but you see what's going on here. With the help of gravity, there's no magnets in the hands and it's pretty... Well, look how much space there is between the hand and the whatever. It doesn't open up. They don't appear to open up to flat. Why? I don't know. Sorry, I was holding that off camera there. Okay, let's, um, I'm just curious. I don't know if you see how little I'm turning these little claws. Yeah, so this is how they, that's as far as they open right there. So let's tighten this one back. Magnets in the feet are epic. I gotta say, I wish they were in the hands somehow too, but there's also no space. <laughs> like, where would you put them? There's there's literally nowhere to put put them. Maybe like that and like this. More contact. Okay, gonna enjoy it myself for a second. <laughs> Not quite. There we go. That's cool. That's probably going to be the thumbnail of some sorts. I'll probably pose it a little different. Set up some of the little weapons, maybe. Yeah. Oh, this thing is very cool. Very glad I didn't pay the upcharged $300 that some people were asking on the used market. Secondary market. That's just too much for this cool little guy. Like, these are cool, but, man... I mean, it's, it's lethal. I mean, here's a, here's, there's a Nibu, Ryan, your Nibu. You need to either ship that to you or you come get it. Just, I, mean, I don't mind that it's here. I pick it up and use it, but yeah, next to a wrapped, let's see, next to a wrapped light. A little closer. What else is a common thing? Torque bar? Torque bar is pretty, pretty standard. A lot of people got the torque bar. I would definitely like to upgrade my eyeballs sometime. So it looks like we're threaded with two screws on each side and it's gonna end up getting sandwiched in. 
Looks like only two outer plates have to come off. Three, if you count the little circle ears. Wow. I miss them. They're so tiny. They're just, everything is so small. It's really, really cool. Really neat design. Very cool little desk display piece. Tension feels pretty good everywhere. It's easy enough to adjust to. Definitely don't need a any kind of driver for added torque. I wonder if my old tech deck, one of my old tech deck wrenches, if I could find one of those somewhere, if those would fit. It'd be easier to do that than use the little screws and the screwdriver head. I could, yeah, leave that on the back. That'd be cool. So I guess that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Definitely no need for this stuff now that I've been playing with it some more. Get that out of the way, clean that up. Let's get the wings back out here. I need that for, whoops, for a picture for sure. Kind of get them flared back out a little bit. Maybe I could use them for some of the support structure. Let's see, tilt these down some. I find this hard to get symmetry with because they're such flared shapes themselves. That's just me, like how my brain works. So it's a little lower. There we go. Thumbnail worthy. <laughs> uh, too much. All right, guys, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm just fidgeting for thumbnail at this point. Thanks for watching kind of fidgety content. <laughs> we'll see you.